Right, so you guys just got a hold of a, an expansion vessel. Um, there's our normal little tool kit. You know, this is the, the one with all the plumbing fittings and all the bits and pieces. We've got a scrap, a little bit of pipe. Now, I just pop that on just now. But what we're going to need to do is make a fitting like that. Put a little bit in there, and that will go on the flow in the turnpike that goes upstairs, which I'll show you in just a minute. Sorry guys, this is mega tight. You'll probably just see down there there's an actuator which actually splits the upstairs from the downstairs so that during the day it's not heated. Let me see if we can get some light. It'll do a bit better when we're actually doing the job. There's one of our central heating filters right there. And that, you guys, is the flow in the turn. So obviously I've had to strip this little cupboard out. This is the cupboard under the stairs, as you'll probably see by that angular bit. And uh, I've just had to strip it all out. This is where the the fuse boxes and all the bits and pieces so I have to strip everything back to get in about the pipes but basically you guys what we're going to do is try and fit that expansion vessel up in that corner out of the way connecting on to that flow in the turnpipes there right guys so we've got our t-piece there we've got the pipe cutter it's a little pipe size hopefully that's going to fit in the gap that you'll see in just a second because there we are with the filter and we've got this little gap that I've just marked out to put the T in just right there it's going to be a bit of a tight fit, but I fitted this thing, so I must be able to fit this T okay. And guys, basically, I just don't want to bore you with draining the system down, so the system should almost be drained by now. So let's see what we can do. Alright, so let's see. All we do is with a pipe slice, as we just give it a... Here we go, I can hear the air now. And what will happen is a lot of the, just the sort of residual water for the system will go out now because the valves open at the other point. Not too far. We'll wait till that stops. That's cool. Right, so guys, there we go. Incision made. Surgery has, has begun. We're going to get that on there, but I think there's just a little raggy bit somewhere. Look at that, beautiful. So we'll just lift it up into there, and we're getting there, you guys. Right, guys, so just apologies for the, the camera angle changing quite a lot. We're really quite stuck in this little corner of the house, but we'll get there. So hopefully you can see this is PTFE tape, you guys, and we'll just put some round there and round there, and that just helps the, the fit and seal. So we'll pop that on just now. Right, guys, so we've got our little uh, nut on there plus the ring. Same at the top, PTFE ring. Oh, there you go. We are on. This is coming on quite nicely. It is taking me a little while though, but we'll get there. Right, so guys, just to make life a lot easier, what we'll do is we'll make up this fitting section here. So that when we fit that in place, all we have to do is tighten up and we're done. Hey. So let's see, we've got an old bit of 22 mil pipe here, you guys. So we'll just maybe cut a lot, I don't know, maybe just a little bit off like that. Onto that part there. Obviously we'll have to do PTFE tape again and just these little bits and we'll get it all to fit. Right you guys. Just a wee bit raggedy you guys because that, that pipe slice is actually quite on the blunt side. Want that nice? Oh, there's my wife now. Sorry, you guys, if I keep getting out of, out of picture. It's just one of those close quarter videos, I'm afraid. Right, so guys, we'll PTFE up this bit just now. Oh, there we go. Just make a little start on it. Oh, that's terrible, you guys. What have I done? Let's see, we'll open it back out again a little bit. There we go. So yeah, you guys, this PTFE just makes things a lot easier. I certainly like having it on every fitting, really, to be frank. So now this bit goes on. Oh, oh, kids are arguing. Hopefully I'm still in shot, you guys, aren't I? Yeah, I'll just move it a little bit. Ah. So there we go, we'll have to still tighten that yet, but we're not tightening, pretty much not tightening much at this stage. So that should fit in there really nicely. Yeah, perfect. There we go. 
go. I'll put a little bit of PTFE tape around this bit as well, eh? You might think that you're thinking there, how difficult can it be filming and doing this at the same time? I'll tell you something. It's not easy sometimes. Guys, pop that on there. Yeah, we're going to tighten her up as well. So basically, you guys back at the T piece. We'll pop that in there back at the T piece, and that should fit in nicely. It's pretty much back to you guys. We'll just give us a bit of a tighten just now. Uh. A bit of a tighten just now but basically you guys that's us getting there put this ready for the bracket afterwards and that should fit in just nicely okay guys so there we go bracket up hopefully we'll get it up onto there and there we go again just to orientate us and that's it so hopefully guys we're coming out and coming straight up this should look pretty good right guys so let's fill it up and there's a little connection just underneath just got like a quarter turn and we'll fill the system up but uh, as you can see we'll still, oh well, maybe you can't see we've still got the hole open there just in case anyway so let's have a little look what we've got on here oh man alive you guys right so it might take just a little while to fill up though let's think how many litres this, this system would hold we've got about 12 radiators 13 radiators i think altogether we'll soon find out as you can see nothing yet no pressure yet Get a tiny bit of movement. Yeah, we quite a few though. Take a little while. Ooh. Right guys, so we're getting up a bit, oh, just over half a bar really. But what we need to do now is, because there's air in the system, we need to zip upstairs, give the radiators a little bleed and see if we can get some air out. Let's fill it up. Right, so guys, we're up at young David's room. We've pulled away the radiator cover. This is pretty much the highest point in the system. So, of course, any air that's going to come, it's going to come out of here or maybe one of the other ones at the top. But, uh, you know, once we get the system back on, I'll have to air it again tomorrow. There's no doubt going to be still some air. Right, guys, we'll take a little listen to this, hopefully. Sorry for the camera work on the lighting. Now, that's the air coming out, you guys. So this is a pressurised system, so I've introduced water to it, and now we've got all this air to get rid of. Then we'll go back down and fill it up, and we'll probably have to air it again tomorrow, once the system has been on. And we're still airing. Yeah, so now the pressure will drop on the boiler again, and we'll fill it back up, and we'll go for the airing again. Boy, boy. Right, that was it starting to slow. Yeah, so as you can maybe see, guys, it's dropped a bit, the pressure. What we're going to do is fill it up again. Now, let's see if I can do this at the same time. Oh, sorry, you guys. Right, let's fill it up to maybe just like a bar again. Yeah, that was a lot of air. That was a lot, a lot, a lot of air. Let's just try and bring it back up. Right guys, let's see, we've filled up again a little bit. Back up into David's room. See the amount of air still, you guys, eh? You can hear it gargling. And what you can do is like a, a two-man job, as it were. You could fill it up and open these up, you know? And Sharon can just turn them as soon as the water starts coming out, but I'm doing it myself, so I'll just have to just have to live with it. And there we go, you guys. That's it. Eureka. So that's a little bit. Let's go back down again then. Right, yes, yeah, so it's dropped right down again. That's good. Because that was only air in the pre in the system, you see. So now we're battering in some litres of water now. Right, so back up into David's room. Let's see if there's just pure water, you guys. Just pure water. Right, okay. 
Right guys, I think we're looking good. So we're just under a bar and we've obviously got all that water upstairs. So let's switch on the main. And it should come up as a fault, like fault 26. And, then we'll, and we'll just fire her up again. Come on, baby. Oh, thank good. Whoa, here we go. Now we've got a bit of air still in the system, you guys. But now the circulating pump's on, it'll be firing the water around the system. And all the excess air is going to go back up into like a David's room, for example. But we need to do the circulation first, eh? Yeah, she'll quieten right down. That's, that's very loud, she'll quieten right down. And hopefully you can see the temperature's going up really nicely. I think that means it's firing. Looking good. Right guys, so basically I tried to get the bracket up there in the wall, the raw plugs weren't all that great. What I think I'm going to do is put up a piece of plywood to hold this expansion vessel, because it'll be fairly fairly heavy now, it's got a bit of water in it, you know? But basically you guys, that's it. Let's see, can I get you in here? Whoa! Don't seem to have any leaks. No, I don't know. Well, we obviously had that little leak earlier, but that's okay, it was just needing to tighten up that silver one. But that's pretty much it. And of course, guys, with the filter right here, excuse the mess, it's also got an air and point on top, and you can also dose it with the additives that it needs. Just give you a quick listen to this. Just give you a quick listen to this, you guys. You hear the air? The water's circulating. So that means when the boiler switches off on its cycle, there should be air upstairs somewhere, so we'll go and hunt for it again. Right, you guys, I'm going to make a little bit of a part two to this one, I think, eh? Because I've still got this, the expansion vessel to go up on the wall there, which is fine. And um, but what I'd really like to show you afterwards is dosing the system with chemical. This is inhibitor. So obviously what we've just done is introduced fresh water into the copper system. And that's not really good. You know, you've got the copper pipes, you've got metal radiators, you've got aluminium heat exchangers. It's not good. So this inhibitor takes the oxygen out of the water and uh, protects the system basically, you know. But guys, basically what we've done here is we've went from, you know, just checking all the, you know, checking all the, the radiators, see if everything's tight, um, you know, just trying to eliminate all the possibilities. We um, popped in some leak sealer, which really does actually work, but it worked for a short time. You know, so we did everything up until we actually had to start spending money. So, I mean, if it wasn't this, that's it, beyond my uh, expertise. Not that there's any expertise, but you know what I mean. Yeah, so next video, you guys, that's what we're going to do, eh? We'll give the, almost like giving the, the central heating system a service, basically, you know, and that's what we'll do, just to show you how that's done. And again, guys, I'm no professional, I'm just showing you how I do things and whatnot, you know, it's absolutely up to yourself. And, you know, I used to work in the building trade with plumbers and heat engineers and all that sort of stuff, you know. I like the guys getting some money, you know, we've got to earn a wage. I wouldn't do, wouldn't do everything myself, you know. Sorry, just to zip back to the boiler again. So basically what the boiler sounds like at the minute is it's got indigestion. You might hear it. Just a bit of air. So I've only had it on for like 5-10 minutes. I'll leave it to cool down for a while, air the system, and that'll be pretty much it, you guys. And then we can do the service in the next video, eh? But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been great practice for me. That was a little bit more technical than the normal old DIY dad, you know, so... Uh, you learn quite a lot each each and every time, you know, but I certainly hope you enjoy it as part of our sort of wider, um, you know, selection of videos that we do, like the motorbike vlog and Scotch Castle tours and all that sort of stuff, you know, so hoping you really enjoy. But for now, thank you so much, guys. God bless and take care.